the American side they've got playing against them. Let's just head over into this map overview like we do nearly every round to see how they play. It looks like Leisure is going very offensively on that defense side on that A-bomb spot. And Nexus Quintic is definitely going into that B-bomb spot. Not too much interest in that A-bomb spot right here off the top here. Let's just check if Leisure is going to answer really quickly with a push onto that B-bomb spot as a defensive team. Fat Bow drops. Quartz right here off the top of the map. Ponage here walking through onto the B-bomb spot. He has to take us home. Nice nade there by BB taking out Ponage once more with Flicks answering him once more. Let's check out here the BB player here on this B-bomb spot. Can he proceed through or not? It is now a three on three situation here. And it does not look like there's too much going for them here directly on this B-bomb spot. It's going to not be too easy as Flicks takes out Broski. One more play down. The bomb is dropped now on that pre-B bomb side on the left side there. The player that is taking all those players down on the beep spot is Flix from Legion, playing really strong. What do you have to say about this, Peter, here? Yeah, it's quite impressive. You know, like we talked about earlier, that beep, you know, they all went towards the beep bomb site and had one guy up in the balcony and he stopped them just long enough for everybody to rotate over. Now we're seeing Vaughn under some pressure. Bullets coming in and he will actually get taken out there by FLX with the pistol. I'm leaving BB to be the last man standing. Batbo will take him out and the first round actually goes into Legion's favor. Yeah, definitely. Well played. They did not seem like they were on the top of that bomb side in the beginning as they proceeded onto A as they thought next can probably be pushing that A bomb side like we said before, which has been done a lot of times here on this map. But answered then really well by positioning themselves up the top there onto that B bomb spot. Let's just head over into this map of you once more. Looks like Leisure again is doing the same split, 2-3 split here onto that A and B bomb spot like we saw in the beginning and switch over to the Nexus team with Ponic here on the steps trying to get a pick, trying to take out one player of that Nexus team. Nice frag there by Ponic checking out Fatball all the way on the other side there on the B Overlook bomb spot. Looks like they definitely both are now proceeding still and are gonna build themselves up for this A bomb spot. They know that there are a lot of players. Still nice nade there by BB that we can see dropping ugly here on the top of these steps. Let's switch over to that A and play from Nexus Quintic here that does get Natosh really nice two frags are taking out Brosk and BB and he's gonna be around for Nexus Quintic here very very nice comeback here making it one to one in total you know, there's a nice split push there from an XCS. You can actually see Quartz here working his way around, catching that guy unawares, reloading his weapon. And the split push kind of like took Leisure out. Leisure weren't quite sure what to do. I think they were anticipating, you know, another five man stack on the B or another five man stack on the A. It's not, it's not what went out the mother round and they just weren't ready for it. Definitely. So looking at this game now, you know, another 3 2 split here from Leisure and, you know, the other team aren't really being that aggressive. NXS just sitting back, yep. seeing what mistakes Leisure are going to make. And then I think they're going to try and push on them. Well, you know, he has been the man who's worked around, worked around the enemy flank. And he will push around and take down Montage. This B site is starting to open up. One more place to take out, down. It's open, but FLX says no. Shutting two NXS players down. Taking out a third. Really play there from him. And now all of a sudden, FLX... Really, really strong there by him. Definitely carried the round for his team there. It has to be said, you know, NXS shouldn't have let that happen. They should have basically been sat back. Yeah. They should have been in positions to cover each other. They shouldn't definitely, have been going in yeah. one by one. And FLX capitalized on that. That's definitely not the right thing to do and go too offensive if, if, if they're getting picked down one by one on that bomb spot. Definitely right what you are saying there, right there, Peter. But let's check one more time. It does not look like Nexus Quintic has very much interest in that A bomb spot. Here, Vaughn going really offensive in the top of this. Uh, Staircase gets the tag from the enemy leisure player there in that switch between the stairs and that A bomb spot. Let's head over there to the map. As we can see, the ponage drops flicks here directly on this B bomb spot. They're now proceeding through. Let's spectate him and see how far they can go onto this B bomb spot. And now he gets dropped by a nice nade there by Fatpo, taking him out just before the bomb. The nades and smokes are out on that B bomb spot. It looks like the push is going to happen right now. Bomb gets dropped though by Broski as Fabo takes him out. Ugly drops Vaughn. It does not look good. One more time here on this B bomb spot for that, um, excuse me, Nexus Quintic team from the US. Now one on. That was it. One on three, and it was it. Bloody takes out BB here one more time on this B bomb spot. Not too good here in favor of Nexus Quintic. They're not getting on the spots as they would like to, are they?
I know, I kind of have to question what Nexus are doing right now. They're, they know they have to push that B-bomb site. We talked earlier about if the smokes go out properly, that B-bomb site is usually quite a you know, relatively easy push. But the smoke was on the left, it was offset. He could be seen from the balcony, he could be pressured. He got saw when he ran out, so he instantly died before he even got to the bomb site. You know, ideally in that situation, you want the perfect smoke, then you'll be getting shot at halfway through the bomb plant, which means you should be able to get that down before you get killed or finished off. Definitely, definitely. But let's go into this now fifth round, fourth round, excuse me. Oh, yeah, fifth round of this match here. Vaughn has proceeded into the switch here between the A bomb spot and the stairs once more. And as we can see, he's just waiting for that pick on those players. They're playing a bit slower now, which is actually what we were suggesting, which is nice by them. Nexus BB, as we can see here now, just in front of this B bomb spot, waiting for the mistake by that laser team. Let's head over one more time to the mat. Oh, and as we can see, there's only one player left on that A bomb spot from Leisure. And this is the moment of truth now here. Is he gonna take one out on that B-bomb spot or not? As BB now slowly proceeds, but Fatball drops Sponge on the side. Bloody takes out Broski. Now the frags are coming. Fatball proceeding one more time into that eight bomb spot switch. Let's switch over to Matosh here, who's still on the B-bomb spot, taking his but now it looks like those Nexus players are going to proceed and they are on the bomb spot of A here. The bomb is gonna get dropped. This is very important if they get it down here now. 38 seconds left on the clock. Does look like it's gonna get planted. The bomb has been dropped and the SMG player is camping out the bomb here like he's supposed to be doing. Seeing the enemy there in that switch from the stairs. Are they gonna take this home or not for their team? Making it then a 2-3 to three round here. Matosh does drop Vano. Now one on two situation. Nice double frag there coming up by Quartz on that bomb spot. Is he gonna get the third? Saving the round for his team. Let's check this out here. Definitely playing really strong and he does awesome play here by Quartz. Dropping three laser players here, defending the bomb for his team. Great action we are seeing here on this A bomb spot here to, on Plaza. What do you have to say to that, Peter? I think that, you know, NXS was so lucky to get that round. If Quartz hadn't gone huge, then that would have been a disaster. I think it was Vaughn. Vaughn was the last one standing with him there. The one flash came through the doorway and he instantly stood up basically went without cover and tried to turn around and shoot the guy running in but you know there's three guys left at the time so he should have trusted in his teammate to cover that entrance cover away and then so he could focus on his own but actually two enemy players waiting who actually finished him off so nxs needed a bit more inter-team trust if you like and they just need to start thinking but very very nice play that we were seeing there with dropping those three players looks like nexus quintic is definitely not really deciding on which bomb spot they want to proceed onto as a bomb is waiting just on those steps as we can see there in the map overview. Pony just looking to get that pick in that midsection on the top of those steps. As we can see though that he is being seen and his bomb has gotten dropped. BB is just in front of the bomb. He's gonna go and pick it up as we can see here now. Pony drops body though. Just goes and nearly gets fragged by that nade there. Pony drops fat ball. Very nice situation out here for Nexus Quintic. The bomb is being dropped as we can see by BB there. And let's see, this should be a safe round for them there. Let's check over to that other last player here by Matosh on that bomb spot. Does get dropped. Ponage, uh, Ponage, not Ponage, drops. Matosh now making it 3-3 three to three in total here on Plaza. As we can see here, that definitely nice pre-fire shots here on that corner on that B-bomb spot. Right now, I want to take a look at Fabo. Fabo has been, it's actually on 83 right now if you look at the scoreboard. And he's been such a good player for the leisure side. So, watching him now push over into this A side. A side, you know, interestingly, has gone uncontested once again. We kind of predicted that A side would get bombarded, didn't we, with flashes with yeah, me. Definitely. And we thought they'd try and push in there, but obviously they're not feeling that aggressive today. So, Fatbo, you know, the guy who seems to have the roaming position, he goes over towards the A site. If there's no action there, they don't really see the danger on that side of the map. And he's the man who rotates and goes to his teammates' assistance. Definitely. He definitely is coming out really strong, as we can see. He's carrying his team with nine, uh, excuse me, eight to three. We are now down, though, in this seventh round here to a five on three situation in favor of Nexus. Great start by them. And uh, we are looking to, uh, to the map overview. Ugly is still sitting up here on this overlook on this B-bomb spot and sees his teammate go down. He predicts those players there on the right side. Nice nade there by Ugly dropping. Quartzny here from that Nexus Quintic team. Does get the second frag there. Great defense play there by Ugly, but gets 
revenged by Ponage from Nexus Quintic. Let's switch over to him. Now one of the last two players here on Nexus Quintic. And a one-on-two situation. As we can see, Matosh is coming out from the back here and gets dropped by Ponage. Oh. Now making it four to three. Nice comeback though. I mean, in the beginning it did seem like they didn't really know what to do. This ne Nexus Quintic team, but now they are coming back very strong on this B yeah. bomb spot, playing their plays they properly. They started off in you know, an aggressive B push. That was their first round. That was their first attack. I think just you know test the waters a little bit, see if aggression can get them, so, you know, get them somewhere. Since then, they've been quite passive. They've been quite defensive, and they've tried to get the picks, and that's kind of been working out for them, as you can see, which is reflected in the scoreline at the moment. What we can see now here, Leisure is not concentrating on A at all. Going really offensive here. Nice frag there by Mato. This is going to get a second on that pre spot here nice flicks drops bb here let's go into that map overview and check where the action is gonna be happening they definitely know that there's a lot of interest of nexus quintic here on that b bomb spot so they are leaving a all undetected except buddy is now sneaking all the way on and he, as we can see in that map overview we can see there is a player from that team on the bomb spot does take him out quartz dropping bloody here and we are now down to a three on two situation in favor of leisure esports you can see here if Felix does get dropped by ponage is he gonna get the revenge Fatpo does not switch over to the last two players here of nexus quintic who have to proceed now with the bomb onto one of the bomb spots here on plaza today I think it's worth just looking at Cape Hornish right now. He's on a nine kill streak, guys. This guy's got nine kills without dying. And that is not something that's easy to achieve. Bomb going down. Actually, two enemy players around on the far side. Splash is coming in. And Cape Hornish are flashed. Can he defend this bomb site? Both players stacking up. A dangerous move. Both teams can get taken out. A flurry of bullets. One goes nice. down. One versus one. The nice action. play Cape there. Cape goes huge for his team and shuts him down. Really, really, really played nicely him. played. Definitely. Yeah, this guy is a machine right now. He's on an 11 kill streak. If this was stock, he'd have an attack assault Megatron laser beam helicopter right now, but it's not, unfortunately for him, and fortunately for his, you know, for the opposing team. But this guy is going huge, so I, I think it's worth a watch one more, just see what this guy's up to. You know, we we're talking earlier as well, weren't we? We've been talking a lot, if you haven't noticed earlier, about <laughs> how the assault rifles are usually the weaker weapon, and also that Plaza is such a close range map. Yet this guy, this machine of a player, is somehow on top, 14 to 4, with an assault rifle. Very, how very strong. I was, I was just about to say, how he's doing that, I yeah. would never know, because I know I couldn't do that right now. I'd be sat in a corner crying for an SMG, <laughs> but I am an SMG player, so. And coming into this ninth round here, though, we can see one of the leisure players is already being dropped. Take a look at that map overview now here. Definitely a lot of interest now. Frags coming out from both teams. Pony is dropping two players here at the top of these stairs here with flicks going down. Ugly gets one more revenge kill in here for leisure esports. Next, BB goes down to favor of him. Let's check over the map overview now. Definitely a very bad situation here. Van just nearly is able to reload his weapon but gets fragged. In the time that he's using to bonus drops body here now making it six to three in total for Nexus Quintic playing really strong I would like to see them play that a bomb spot though that a -bomb side is something. I don't know if they're saving that you know for the, like, the last few moments the last few rounds of the map you know they've been going B they've been going slow so maybe they're trying to lull leisure into a false sense of security I think so, I think so. definitely yeah. You know, keep looking at that map over there because I'm sure only in a second now we're going to see five red arrows run towards the A site. Probably. And actually, there is one player working his way around there, so yeah. maybe trying to get that exit, maybe trying to you know get the pick to open up that site. That's you know, we have seen we have seen earlier, haven't we? Like a slow play, and actually, if you flick over towards that A site, actually, it's actually heating up. Push the players have pushed around. Mutosh takes down one, and all of a sudden that flank is open. Let's hey, see if they're going to proceed over to that A bomb spot, though. It does not look like it at the moment. So we can see though the next Quintic players now have cleared out that B bomb spot with Broski dropping flicks here. Let's see if they can decide to go out. Next is Broski dropping ugly. Now is the time of the plan. It looks like Broski has the bomb. It's not going to go directly for the plant. Now it is going to get seen through 
And as we can see, the last player here from Lisa Esports is coming through the backside there. Fatball on the aisle here, just to the right side of the B-bomb spot. Let's see how far he can go with the SMG here. If he can take the round home. Nice first frag there by him. Is he going to proceed even more and take out one more of these players? Does not look like he tags him up in extreme. Nice red colors, but Vaughn comes out on top and Fatball goes down in favor. One more round goes to Nexus Quintic. Really, really strong play that we're seeing here by them. You know, Balm was there luckily to save the round because I was questioning the ability of the player sat on that balcony. You know, he's in the position where all he has to do is watch a ladder, basically. Of course, he can get climbed for the side, but it makes noise and, you know, you, you're ready for it. But all he had to do was sit in, wait for that bomb, you know, wait for Vaughn basically, just to peek it the first time round. And then if he fell, then he could spray the bomb site. He just needed to hide. And Definitely. by exposing himself there, he could so easily have been taken out, making it a one, into a one versus one. Vaughn might have died, and that could have cost him the round. Like I said, these players need to start thinking about their actions before they do it. Definitely. That's totally true. But let's head into this 11th round here. Now, Broski coming off really strong, dropping bloody. Let's see here now, two players already down. Brock, another kill by him. Really, really strong play that we let's switch over to him and see if he can proceed even more on this kill streak here. He's already got two kills and has oh, the Broski. bomb in hand. It nearly oh, misses the bag. He does. Straight past yeah, that player. And I saw it. Alex actually capitalized <laughs> on that so well there. He is the last player though, and it's not going to be too easy with the AN. And for here on this B bomb spot. It is now a one on two situation here and looking at the map overview we can see the players from Nexus Quintic are building up in t at the top of that B bomb spot overlook there. It looks you like know, they're th screwing over to that A bomb spot here. Let's spectate Quartz. What do you have to say about that with the bomb here on that A bomb spot Peter? I was going to say that FLX is actually playing this correct. You know, he was sat in the middle area between the two bomb sites, easily, you know, easily able to rotate to where he thinks needed. He looked at the B site, cleared it, made sure there wasn't anybody there, and started to rotate over to A. Unfortunately for him, he was a few seconds late. <laughs> he started, you know, maybe if he pushed forward for earlier, cleared the B bomb site 10, 20 seconds earlier, that round would have been his. But as we can see there, the guy in the defensive positions, actually potentially risky positioning there from K Pornish, but in the end it played off, so I can't really criticize him for it. It looks like we are in the last round of the first half here on this map. Not going to be too easy if this round also goes to Nexus Quintic, but it looks like now we're going to see some offensive play by them on that A-bomb, so this is what we've been waiting for. They're going in really strong here. It's the first frag going to come off for them. Oh, that ball drops. A second frag there also clearing out that A-bomb spot was not a good idea for Nexus Quintic to go and proceed onto that bomb spot like we have not been seen so far. Now, if what they need to do right now, though, you know, Lexus, sorry, not Nexus, Leisure think that it's an A-push. They think, you know, they've taken two SMGs out there, they had three plays over there. Over towards B, fast, aggressive, take out that one defensive player, get the bomb down, and, you know, get control of the site before they can rotate over. And now we're seeing Nexus, you know, kind of pinned, backs against the wall. They know that B-bomb site's heavily defended. In fact, there's two red arrows just sat there looking, waiting for them to push through that corridor and through the shopping center. Definitely, definitely, but I think BB does... No, he gets flashed. Is the proceed going to come through from the enemy? does not look like it here. BB is still looking at that B bomb spot. We do not know how far he's going to go as his teammate on the side of him, as we can just see in this map of you, has been spraying out. But Ponic drops Matosh. Very nice play here by Ponic here on the midsection of the map. Now let's see how far he's going to take it now with his team on his left. Now it does not like he's going to go and plant that bomb. The denial comes though with Ugly taking out two players. Now it's a one on two situation here for Caponage on this B bomb spot. Let's see how far he can go, but he gets tagged up. It's going to be very hard for him to get out of this situation. And as we predicted, Bloody comes out on top, drops him, and the score of the first half here is eight to four in favor of Nexus Quintic. Yeah, while these players are you know, taking them all screenshots, let's talk about what's just happened. We actually saw, I believe, K Pornage was on 22. Was it 22? No, 21 to five. He was bringing his team glory, gold, everything that comes associated with it. Carrying it, definitely. Stream, I'm not quite sure. And um, yeah, he's really pulled them through. They were down on a deficit of, was it 3 to 1 at the start? Then he slowly brought it back into even territory. And now it's 8 4. And that was great play by Nexus, but especially a great play from K Pornish. And just to point out as well, they've actually got the ping disadvantage right now. They do, definitely. As we have Leisure hosting. 
I think I think I mean it was really nice to see how how the B bomb spot has can get played. I mean they definitely played really smart in the in in the in the last few rounds there, winning them then all, which is really really nice taking them all home from their team. As we have been talking about the whole before the match prior to this matchup between Nexus Quintic versus Leisure Esports, the A bomb spot is such a fast bomb spot to get played here. And the B bomb spot is definitely a more strategic bomb spot. You cannot rush in as fast as if you have someone really strong with SMG playing on the top of that B bomb spot overlook. There's nearly no chance to just run in and plant the bomb. But it looks like the model screenshots have gotten taken. And we're going to have a host switch here. So we'll be back in a few seconds here with the second half of Nexus Quintic versus Leisure Esports on Plaza of this Go4 Cup number 10 on ESL TV. So stay tuned and we'll be back in about 30 seconds. <laughs> that was a fast version. <laughs> we'll just head right into the game and see if we can connect to this second half of these are Esports versus Nexus Quintic, and it looks like we are nearly ready. Can you connect, Peter? Or are you having problems once more? I'm already in. If you uh, you take are a look. in, yes, I can see you now. Makes a change. <laughs> and it looks like they're already going into the second half. That's what we like to see. No wait here for us in the second half between Nexus Quintic. Let's see how Leisure is going to play the offensive side now of this map. I, to be honest, think they're going to push that eight bomb spot pretty strongly you know we're looking at nexus and you know they're on the offensive and they were quite passive they like to sit back they like to pick and get ready for the frags and i think defense is going to suit them especially now they've got a the better thing you know just for everyone who's tuning in nexus are from america i've just actually lost connection to host so uh, right. that's okay then nexus are from america they've got uh, in excess of 100 maybe 200 ping i think actually they're on to over 200 ping in that game yeah. and um they managed to get 8-4. K-Pornage on 21 kills. Now they're going into their home territory where they're going to be sitting on something between 80 to 60 to 80 ping more than likely. And their, their competitors, their opponents, are going to be on 200 now. It's their turn to suffer. And they've got to try and attack. They've got to try and rush. Now, you could argue that the anti-lag is going to play into their favour, but I don't think it's going to, at that extreme, that, you know, that level of disparity. Yeah. I think... Um... I mean, I think on, on, on a map like this, it, it definitely, I mean, we don't have too many long distance shots. I think it, a lot has to do with timing, you know. I, I haven't seen um, too much getting decided through, through ping so far, so maybe it's, it's definitely nice to see, though, how far they can go now and, and, and see how they play this out now versus the, the, the American team here. You know, Leisure played against Nexus on standoff not too long ago, last week, maybe the week before yeah. that, and they the week. pretty decisively took that game 13-6. Yeah. And now we're seeing the ties being turned more or less on this side. You know, you could argue that the score Nexus is sitting on right now is a score to give 13-6 on. So I think it's all going to be down to how Leisure managed to utilize that A site, which is something Nexus actually didn't really attempt to until the second last last round. I, I can't quite remember. But that failed just so horribly. <laughs> yeah. For lack of a better lack of a better description. Let's see if we can get this match now underway as we are connecting to the host and loading the map. We just tried that a few seconds ago and both got kicked out. Let's hope that this goes right and then we'll be in the second half here of Nexus Quintic versus Leisure Esports from Germany. On Plaza, that's looking good so far. Loading the textures, and then we will be live now with Leisure Esports on the offensive side. Let's head directly into that map overview and see how they play with the bomb in their hands here. So, you know, we know how both these teams play. We've not seen them on these sides. What do you think Leisure has it in them to take this game back into their favor? Yeah, they definitely have the skill. And it looks like they are going to have to use it now here on this A-bomb spot. Nice nade coming out directly off the top here. Flicks dropping quartz. 
Ugly coming off really strong with the second fag though by Flix here. Dropping Van on the se section. Is the bomb gonna get dropped straight away? It does look like it. But the nade goes out in favor of... See, those are the rounds I mean with Leeser coming out really, really, really strong here. That was 30 seconds on the clock about. With now 1-0 to zero here in favor of Leeser Esports. That's how you can play that A-bomb spot. I really feel sorry for BB there. He was actually behind two enemy players. I'm sure he was like, yeah, I'm going to get two of these kills. And then, oh no, I've just been shot in the back. Never mind, guys. Hope's over. Um, but yeah, you know, we saw that A site getting abused. And it looks like they're going to be going for it again. Just ugly going off on the split. Let's try and flick over. Let's see if they can do it again. Nice and again. Flash getting needed. Leisure getting in there, taking control of that site so concisively. Nice and play. It does look like Flix is dropping the bomb though here on that. A bomb spot and it is down now. They definitely have the control once more over this A bomb spot. As we can see in the map overview here, both sides have been really, really nicely positioned and they have really strong also in the middle. And it looks like they're gonna attack from each side. Let's see who is gonna come up on top. Fatbo drops that right side of the map. Van goes down in favor of Flix and Matosh drops Nexus. BB amazingly positioned, really, really nice defense play. And that's just how that goes then down to that team. As there's no chance here for Exesquintic with this bomb planted on that a bomb spot here. All right, so let's just take a second and let's put ourselves in Nexus's shoes. That A site has been pushed two rounds in a row now. They've lost it two rounds in a row. And it's mainly through nades and flushes. So if you were them, what would you be doing right now? What what would you try and do to kind of strap? If I... Oh, it looks like they have not thought about it too, too much yet. I would try and get the nade in, obviously, through the middle. Also, push that side from the middle. But it looks like they have not adapted so far. Once more, it was an incredibly fast, strong round there by Leisure Esports. I think the, the problem is if you if you get into that A bomb spot once and you have two or three players left on your team that can guard the size, it's nearly impossible to get back in there. You would have to have a lot of luck there. So, adapting the mid section. Pushing from the side probably would be something that you can utilize against these players. Interestingly, NXS and Nexus are putting three man stack onto this A site, but it's against a three man stack of leisure. Nexus are going to their first, taking down one, taking down the second, and this might be the defensive position they na need now. They've got the A site, they just they don't want to overcommit, nice. they don't want to overextend. But all of a sudden, there's one player left standing for leisure, and it is actually, is it Muntosh? Murfatosh? It is now. We have, yeah, it's Matosh, Matosh. We have one, Matosh. one last player here for Leisure, and we, I just want to um, um, pronounce the extremely nice play there by Van in the beginning of this fourth round here. As he frags two off with the SMG and one with the nade. Let's switch over though to Matosh. It's all on your hands here with the bomb. Luckily in the spawn though, he's not gonna get out of that easily. He's gonna have a hard time taking this home for his team here now. See how far he can go. not look like those Nexus Quintic team players are going to come offensive though, which is a good idea as you don't want to give Matosh any frags here for free. You know, Mtosh has been forced back to spawn in in between a rock and a hard place more or less and the only thing he's got going for him right now is he's got that bomb. That A site is actually undefended. If he can get in there, get the bomb down before Nexus actually realise what's going on, which actually if you look at their positioning, Definitely. he might actually manage to pull this I off. I think he's going to pull get, it off. If he gets the bomb down, actually, oh, Mentosh, you've been If he gets his frag, he here. could make it. Let's see how far he's going to go. They're waiting oh, for the plant. No, he's a, he's a, oh, no, he's a dead man here, unless... No, he can't. Obviously, from his point of view, he didn't know that a site was exposed and empty. Yeah. So he was quite cautious in what he was trying to do. But at the same time, he should have, you know, he was the last man standing. Nobody expected him to pull off that round. It was time to take risks. It's always time to get aggressive. The way you win a three versus one is by making it into three one versus ones. That true. makes sense. Definitely true, and yeah. He needed to push aggressively before he knew the players. He actually knew the players out of position there. He needed to get aggressive and capitalize on what were effectively Nexus's mistakes. Definitely but true. Looks like we're going to go into a timeout here. That was called by Leisure Esports, I believe. 
Do you know how how long is the timeout rule in in um in the uh, go for cups? Do you know that? I, just I would that. guess that it's the same as any color duty cup, which would yeah. be five minutes, five, maybe five minutes. ten at a push. So yeah. I'm gonna guess five minutes. Let's see. I think they might be going for a host switch as I just got kicked out of that house. Let's see how they are gonna build this back up. If not, we will be back in a few seconds. Then let's just wait and see. Let's not make any early decisions and see how long they're going to take their time out here. That was called by Leisure Esports in this go for cup here, number 10 on Plaza. So we've been seeing very, very strong play here by that Leisure Esports team. This is exactly though what they needed to have come off really, really strong in the first few rounds here in the second half as we had an 8-4 to four lead. Or was it nine to three? No, nine to three, wasn't it? Um, eight four. No, it was eight four. Yeah. Yeah. Eight, it was eight four four, four um for Nexus Quintic here in the first half of this map. So definitely a great start for Leisure Esports, coming yeah, off really strong here in the second half. And that score right now is so tentatively close. You know, if these two people right now were on a date, they'd be more or less on second base. That is basically <laughs> how close these scores are. Definitely. That is a pretty bad analogy, so I will apologize for that, but it's the best I could come up with. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, Leisure, they call the timeout. Obviously, feeling the pressure. They've lost through three rounds on a row, in a row now on their A site. They tried a three-man stack. They actually got control of it. It was kind of working, but then it, they lost it once again. So, yep. sorry, yep. Nexus lost it once again. And, Nexus, yeah. Yeah, and Leisure need to, I think they need to mix up what they're doing a little bit. Maybe try and fake that A push, because then one SMG over there with a flash, with a smoke, flash smoke, and while, and meanwhile, his four teammates need to be pushing around that B site like zebras on zebras on speed. Definitely, it's like zebra on on speed. That would be very fast, I believe. <laughs> I, think <laughs> I, thought, can... I thought it sounded fast. It sounded yeah. fast. <laughs> I think you can um, connect back to the, to the seating of the match. Um, it looks like they're not going to be taking too much longer. Let's just ask are you guys nearly ready to go back into this match right here. I'm unable yeah. to join host, believe it or not. Peter is once more unable to join host. They don't like me, that's what it is. I'll restart my game in case it's my side. Just give us a few seconds here and Peter will be right back here. Just, just make connect. sure they're not going to 11 people again. Because if it is, I might have to slap someone. But we have just done a, you know, a lobby host, a, a host change. So that could be the reason behind it. Obviously, for anyone who isn't unaware, you know, you cap the amount of people who can join your lobby. So you don't have, say, one of you guys joining the game midsection and team killing everybody. Not that any of you would do that, of course. No, of course not. <laughs> yeah, but that's why they've done it. And, uh, oh, I'm in. No. I take You're it in. You You're are gone. in. You've gone. <laughs> I've gone. Yeah, you're in. I got kicked. Okay, let's see if I can. No, I'm. No, oh, I'm in. They... No, you've been kicked. You've been kicked. I oh, know I got kicked. It's, okay. it's the bug. It's the bug. It's the bug. Yeah. Let's it's see if I can connect after months. flicks here. It looks good, and I'm in too. So Ooh. we should be. Like yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was going to be a case of you got kicked, so I could get in, and then you wouldn't be able to get in, and I'd have to <laughs> radio cast, which would have been horrendous. Yeah, but it looks like we're going to go back. What was the score? I think it was 3-1, to one, wasn't it, in favor of um, Leisure Esports here? In favor of Leisure, yeah. And it was 8-4 near the other half. So I'll let you do the math. Um, oh, come on. It's not that hard. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not math, man. I'm... 9-7. I'm, I'm a designer, yeah. 9-7. I was there with my fingers then. I was like, wait. That's 4 plus 3. <laughs> <laughs> Just concentrate on the second half here. So we're now going into the... Fifth round, I believe, of uh, the second half. Uh, yeah, something like that. Close enough, if it isn't. Definitely. So, yeah, you know, Nexus have the round advantage, but they're feeling the pressure, and they're gonna have to try and pull something special here to try and win this round. But it looks like they've gone back to their standard strat, and Leisure are pushing in onto the A side with brute force. Barno absolutely going huge. They're taking down Flux, taking down Fatbo, and now the side's kind of in his control. He's got a cook nade. This could be devastating. Chucks it out. Will get taken out, but the nade will land. That's three men, three men down now to the hands of Vaughn. More nades raining in on that side. Just what's there remaining? A nade goes in, takes him out. One versus one. K Pornish versus M Tosh. That is his name. I don't care if that's not how he pronounces it. M Tosh. <laughs> that's just what we'll call him right now. And it looks like they've been spread out. And now 
the player from that laser team is going to probably proceed just through that midsection of the spot on his back B alleyway there as Kiponage, that's what I'm going to call him, um, is just waiting at the top of those stairs here looking for the player. Also very nice positioning by him there in the middle as we can see of those two bomb spots here looking and being able to switch over to both sides in yeah, a really we fast manner. We saw this earlier, didn't we, with Leisure. Leather, I think it was actually Emtosh who was in the situation before. He was in that middle area and he pushed over towards the B side, which is actually what his opponent's doing right now. Now, his opponent knows he's not on that B site. At least he wasn't five seconds ago. So he's going to be starting to suspect that A site. So if you just go onto the overlay, I don't know if you're already there or not. But well, Emtosh is, is working his way over towards that A site. His, the enemy is just on the other side of that pillar. Perfect positioning. As soon as he even as soon as Emtosh even hints at the bomb going down, he can start positioning himself in that middle pillar. And basically, oh my god, he's just going away at the wrong second. He, yeah, he just could not hear that now. And this is a very important situation for Matosh. But if he sees the opponent through that midsection coming from the steps, I do think it's going to come up to his hands and come down in favor of Leisure Esports here. <laughs> does look like it as we predicted. Matosh does take out Ponage. Here. Really now. risky there from Mtosh though. He was spot aiming that one doorway. Yeah. So you know, if anyone who doesn't know Plaza, there's three entrances into this building. You could almost argue he knew where he was coming from, almost. And it was such a risky play. If what, guy pushed around through his spawn that way, there would be a perfectly viable rotate from his previous position, and he would have been shot down instantly. If a player had gone through his own spawn, they would have got shot down instantly. So. Nice what was going through his here. mind then? He must have heard something. He must have get to, you know, to give away that position. Probably. But Leisure taking control of this A-side now. Nazer in again, the feed and the pressure. But the pressure does not stop them. Ugly takes down one. Fatbo takes down another. And FLX says, I'm not missing out on this party. And finds a frag of his own. And all of a sudden... Nice Lexus. frags there though. Definitely really, really nice play here. Flix came out even stronger with the second pistol frag. As we can see here now in the replay on the top of these mid-steps. These are definitely took their time in their timeout that they just chose and definitely it looks like they talked and decided on the right things here. What do you think about that? Yeah, definitely. You know, Legend more or less getting onto that site relatively uncontested and it looks like they're going to be going for it again. So you can see these players now chucking out the nades. I actually want somebody to fail their nade. They have to be careful here. Nades, nades, nades. That nade is surely going to kill. Yes, it does. But Amtosh, meanwhile, is clear that site is under Legend control. Nice fail flash there by Matosh though on that A bomb spot that we just were seeing and it looks like the bomb has been dropped now once more it's very hard for that next squinted team from the American side there here let's check out Flix here in the middle as he just nice frag there takes out Cornish is he gonna get a second does not look like it Quartz knee takes him out Matosh takes the revenge though on him and this is now the last player left for Nexus Quintic here from the US side BB here looking into that A bomb spot Definitely a very long way to glory for him though. He has been all tagged up and is not going to be able to proceed as he would like to with the pistol. And does <laughs> get taken out by Matosh now. Giving another round to Lisa Esports here now making it 3-0 to zero here. I don't know if you saw the recent game with uh, Ninjas in Pajamas, the CSGO team versus Vary Games. And they were 13-2 down or something close to that at the end of the first half. The ties were turned, the, you know, the teams were switched, and they came back to win it. I believe it was something like 16. They basically gave the opponent one round and took all the rest. And um, that's the sort of comeback we're seeing here, and it's just remarkable. Pylon actually teammate him. He picks up the grenade, but he gets taken down for his troubles. Okay, Fornish going in. Mtosh, though, clearing out that A site. And let's shoot. They just, they love this room. They just, they, they know really how to work do it. They like this A bomb, that, that is true. Definitely dominating once more now. Picking Nexus Quintic down to the smaller player and has also been seen. Flix is now going to go and see if he can proceed. It does look like it, like we predicted once more. Flix takes out Broski now giving another round to Leisure Esports. And here Matosh is whining a bit, saying that the host is bad. Do not understand why he's saying it at the moment as they are playing really, really strong here now in the second half on Plaza. They're just laughing because, you know, Leisure have got the home host here and they've only got three parts. Um, the Americans actually have relatively good connections to the server. But yeah, anyhow, going into this game, Leisure are actually just storming this A-bomb site again. And, yeah, look at the map. 
next is to put three guys over there, but they've not actually got three guys in there, and that's the difference here. That's going to win them rounds. Next is though, forcing the pushback, actually have control of A. The A site is actually First under time, control. So far. I've said that twice because it deserves a lot of effort. They've gotten into the A site and held it. That's um, the first time, yeah. Definitely yeah. is remarkable leisure. for them. Leisure, sniffing weakness, rotating over towards B. Nexus, though, actually cottoning on, starting to take up the middle positions, taking up the place to basically deny the enemy rotate. Oh my god, oh yeah, FLX will get the frag, I uh, will get taken out, sorry, I thought FLX was going to reply there and flip shot him and basically finish him off. And Pylon is the only one that remains. Takes down a running cape on it. And it's just two players there. remaining. Starting nice round, frag. Pylon gets a second. Two remaining though, and this is an uphill struggle for even the best of players. Picking up the bomb, taking out the wrong, long rotate, and of course, if you take this long rotate, you obviously won't be giving away position. You'll be able to get over to the A site, but I'm going to say relative ease, simply because they won't know where he's coming from. The only way the enemy team are going to react if he gives away his position right now, tries to get the frag, tries to take it to a one-on-one, -on -one, but doesn't manage to land it. Tries to return that frag though with the pistol, as he knows that the enemy was all tagged up and was probably really, really red there. The time is not on his hands, so he has to make a move right now. And as we can see, there is one player just waiting for him from Nexus Quintic on the A-bomb spot. And that is what happens if you have that time not on your hands with BT taking... Broski, excuse me, taking out Metos here. The last player with nice predicted fire here. Do not Metos, excuse me, Pylon with the bomb on that long road like you just explained to us here, Peter. And that was a crucial round for Nexus as well. You know, they were 4 0 down at the end of that timeout. And, you know, Leisure were just looking dominant. They looked unstoppable. And now Nexus have kind of got into the minor. Wait a minute, Leisure can be stopped. We've just proven that it can. But, of course, Leisure don't want to give away any more rounds. Shutting down the A site. One player remaining in that pillar wow. area who can actually make an impact on this site. Of course, Quartz rotating around, trying to help out his teammate. But Nays are coming in. Spam is coming in. And Quartz is alone and isolated. All his teams have died. All his teams have died. All his teammates have died. That'd be nice if he had more than one team. It could be argued they might need more than one team to take down this relatively dominant leisure side. Definitely, and he tries to get the cooked nade here and frag the last player here. Very nice play by Quartz there, just looking at the player as we can see in oh, the kill right. cap with the nade in hand and throws it, but gets taken out there by Pylon. Pylon, what were you doing with your aim? <laughs> nice to see both players there kind of messing up, but definitely still getting the frags like it should be. <laughs> this game's so much more fun when the players mess up. <laughs> <laughs> but it definitely anyway, looks like Leisure. Leisure first round, they pushed B yeah. site in, I think ever, I'm not sure, but I think this is the first site time they have pushed the never site. pushed B And Nexus are so there, far, Nexus yeah. aren't in position. This is a free B bomb site. They need to cover that shopping area, which they are doing with a player behind the store, and then they can push in. But they've been a little bit too slow. Barnes rotated, got up in that high ground. The high ground of doom, it just it covers the whole site and there's little you can do about it. And Nexus actually get their second round. Very important though also for Nexus there. Good half. Did we not count properly? Yes, we are going into an overtime. Boop, boop. We are going into an overtime. Let's see if they're gonna switch hosts. I really hope not. <laughs> It's every time the switch host, I spend five minutes it trying to join It does not look host. like it. Oh, it does. Okay. Well. So, you know, to recap this game so far, we, know, we saw next in a bit of a deficit, then they made the comeback. 8-4, final half-time scoreline. Next side, Leisure pushed that A site to oblivion. They dominated it. They Nexus won two rounds, I believe. Yeah, just two rounds. Two rounds, and, yeah. And they were relatively lucky in the fact that their knees connected and Leisure's kind of didn't. They had one round where Leisure actually fail naded. That gave them one round. Definitely, then, yeah. The second round, okay, I'm going to give that to Nexus. That was well played. That was credit to them. But I'm going to say, if Nexus don't get three rounds on this defensive, on this offensive, sorry, I don't think they're going to take this game. I don't, thought, I don't think so either. Let's... Let's see though, um, now Nexus is coming off as offense first, aren't they? Yeah, the team's they're playing, switched yeah, again. They, they switched once more, so they're coming off as offense. If Nexus does not play strong now in the first round, I don't think it's going to be very easy for them as they have to get their momentum up here on this bounce spot. But it looks like we're going to go directly into this overtime here now. Let's see how far they can take it on the offensive side. 
Nexus Quintic. So for anyone who is just joining us, this is the ESL Go for Black Ops 2, the first qualification cup actually of the month. The two teams playing today are Leisure and ne Nexus Doc. Well, I suppose Nexus, Nexus Doc Quantic. Quintic. Is. Quintic. Yeah, Qu Quintic. Quantic. Quintic. Same word. Same Anyhow, thing. Nexus absolutely dominant first half. This is the side Nexus is strongest on. Nexus need to pull away an advantage, and if they fail to do so, this could be nice. This could be the end of the well, very early night for them. I two, think so too. Yeah. Two relatively top teams, top tier teams here. Not quite the top of the scene, but definitely up there. We can definitely push the very best. I'm not quite sure what these... Both teams seem to be throwing these nades against the wall to re-pick them. I'm not quite sure if that changed the cook time at all, or...? Um, no, it, I, I think... Uh, if Actually, you... no, I've just thought, if they chuck it at the wall, they can sprint for the time it's flying, which means they're not standing there walking yeah, slowly cooking. that's why. Grenade. That's why they... Yeah. That is absolutely correct. That's pure genius. I would yeah. never have thought to say that. I've just stood there oh, with really nade in hand. strong like... nade there. Just need to... Sorry that I'm interrupting you, but ugly, just taking out both players there. That Nexus team on the side there, they definitely know now that they are interested in that B-bomb spot once more. It's going to be very hard for Nexus Quintic here to take this home for them as the Leisure players are also adapting to their play here. Got one player flanking around here from the Leisure side. Fatbo actually taking out Cape Hornage. You know, it's been quite risky in doing that. The B, sorry, the A site is actually completely open to attack. They managed to push around, they managed to get a few frags here and there, but you know, all they have to do is basically walk across that middle area and plant the bomb, and that could be GG. It does look like it right now that it's only one more player here for that Nexus team. Let's go and spectate BB and see how far he can take it. It does not look like he's going to go anywhere further than the round heading over to Leisure Esports here. In this overtime, they definitely had a problem with that nade, that excellent plus 10 nade here that was thrown by the laser side on that left flank of the B-bomb spot here in the middle. Alright, so you know, Nexus obviously around there now, and I think panic stations might be sit, uh, setting in. Two players pushing over towards there, let's try and flick over to them, let's find out who they are. Here's actually Vaughn, Vaughn pushing in with the AM. Nice frag. This A site is actually under Nexus control, but the bomb isn't rotating. Nexus are baiting out the enemy players, and they should be going for that B bomb. Why aren't you going for the B bomb, Nexus? That's, That's it. They must have heard me and started to push up. That you know, is bomb... not the right way to play that. You are absolutely correct. You know, I thought that was a brilliant push, a brilliant split push there. You know, they baited out the players, baited out the rotate, and all of a sudden this B site is clear. But Broski you need, needs to be more decisive. That bomb could have been down 20, 30 seconds ago, and now there's a player rotated. A player could potentially stop this bomb plant, and that's not something Nexus want. Definitely exactly right what you're saying there, Peter, on that B bomb site. Now we can see those Nexus players are trying to get the control. The bomb has gotten planted by them. Nice play there by them but Fatbo dropping the first player here as we can see now we are down to a one on two situation in favor of that leisure team here and definitely one more round now that all players are down of Nexus Quintic for that leisure team making it now in total two to zero for leisure here in this overtime so how, not... how leisure got that game that round I will never know they had a perfect fake count to A even managed yeah. to kill a few on the A site forced a full rotate from the leisure team and then the bomb didn't move the bomb was basically sat at spawn saying hey guys i've got the bomb troll -la, 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 la but i'm not planting and um, that was basically what cost them that round the next side need to be more decisive the strats themselves were quite good they need to think about yep. how they're going to implement the latter half of their strats try and actually have more confidence as well maybe they are just lacking a confidence having a bit of a confidence crisis here yeah but now we can see a pylon drops quartz directly here a switch over to Capone Pylon with the second frag dropping Vaughn. He just cleared out that whole alleyway there in the direction of that A bomb spot. And as we can see, there is a player which is Pylon who's been playing so strong so far, going all the way into the base here, trying to pick from the backside the players of Nexus Quintic. Let's see how far he can go for his team here. He does not seem to take the connect here on Capone. Matos drops BB on the other side there. Switch over to him as it looks like. It's gonna be another round here. Uh, it is not. I just thought it was much more players down now. One on two situation here in favor of that Nexus team now here. Let's see how far he can go. Fatbo now in the position of taking the defuse on that B bomb spot. Head over to that map overview. And we 
definitely know there's that player. Almond does get the connect. Very important frag there. Now the team though from that next oh, team knows. Gay. Definitely nice frag there. Two to one here in this overtime. Let's see if next Squinty can come off as strong as Leeser Esports did here in the first uh, second half. Excuse me of the overtime. What do you think about that, Peter? I'm just gonna call on Broski's last frag there. Bear in mind that kill cam looked quite normal, but that was a, that was a, like half quarter speed. He basically whipped his head around that corner and got that frag in about quarter of a second. That was brilliant play by him. Really, really nice aim, yeah. You know, we were talking about earlier this B site. You know, they get the bomb down and they kind of got control of the balcony area, but instead of sitting in defending the ladder, if you like, and just basically being the keen, the keen, the, the keen guardian of the point. To peek out and try and get the frags so i think that's the difference between teams like leisure and teams like i don't know um say uh, i've got names in my head i just can't say them say logics you know compare these guys to yeah. logics and i think they will become undone they're just too over eager and i think they're just a bit too yeah. i'm gonna say immature but not in the bad way just in the like the youthful sort of inexperienced yeah. way yeah i mean we'll we'll see now with um as you guys um, probably all know with the EMS that has been announced in uh, the EU section of the Electronic Sports League, which is going to be an awesome add-on for Black Ops 2. Have you um, got any thoughts about the teams that are going to be entering there? It looks like they're going to be seating and positioning the teams, moving them up from the A series. Yes, the top 24 or 25 to the A from yep. the A series to the EMS. Yep. And for anyone who's willing, you know, who's interested in participating, it's not too late actually to join up. There's three more division changes. You need to get promoted in two out of three of those division changes, and you could find yourself in the EMS. And obviously, EMS is for three thousand euros. Three thousand, yep. So, Correct. You know, it's not the biggest one out there, but it's still a sizable chunk, especially for an online competition. And of course, you know, EMS is quite prestigious. If you're looking for an organisation, you go to them and say, "Oh, look, we've just won EMS." They'll be like, "Okay, great, sign this contract, you're in." Yeah. Definitely oh, really, really nice add-on to um, to Black Ops 2. It looks like now we're going to be going to the second half of this overtime here. Really, really nice match so far. Been switching around. Both teams playing very, very strong. I hope now that we're going to see very nice action once more from the Nexus Quintic side as they're now playing um, defense, aren't they? Yeah, the switch side once again. So, you know, Nexus 2, 1 down, and they're going into their... Uh, normally, this situation is arguably worst side, but this is definitely their worst side. So, Nexus really have to pull the proverbial rabbit out of the hat. Definitely. That is definitely true. Let's see, though, how Leisure Esports, as we know from their side that they've been playing that offensive before, they've played really strong on A, and it looks like once more that's exactly what they are going to do, sticking to their play, and Pylon is all the way on the front, this is the moment of truth now here, nades flying out everywhere, Pylon with a double nade kill here on this A bomb spot, fragging those players out, very important frags by him, the bomb has set just there in front of it, the A bomb spot, now they are definitely down in momentum here, these are esports. Next is of course the right back here, we've actually got K Pornish. Maybe being a bit too overzealous in this middle peak and get trying to stop that rotate, manages to take one but fails to land the second. But if you just look at the map now, you've got them basically pinned in their back of the room. And the only way they're going to lose this is if the whole of the next team basically do a broski and over push and over extend. We've got one player who's taking a look at the map again, we've got one player in the middle, covering that rotate. We've got K Pornish holding the middle and two guys holding that actual A bomb site. The only way that Leisure can possibly rotate through round here to take out K Pornish and open up that middle flank. But it's going to be very hard though now here. Right now. He's a dominant force, shutting down Definitely. I think three players in that round. And Nexus need two more of those. I think it's definitely looking pretty good for Nexus Quintic here right now. That was very, very well played here by them. Dropping those players with the double nade, changing the whole outcome and setting of that first momentum rush here on that A-bomb spot. Let's go into the second round of this overtime here. Let's see if Leisure Esports once again, like we predicted, are going to play this A-bomb spot. Are they going to get through this time? The nades are not coming out in favor of Next Quintic. Matos drops Vaughn directly. Vaughn coming back with the nade on Fatboy. Ugly Drog and K-Pornage. They are now on the A-bomb spot and the draw bomb, excuse me, is being pushed. Another nice frag there by Matos and it looks like there's only one less player here. Broski 
once more for the Nexus Quintic team. It looks like there's going to be another round here in favor of Leisure Esports. Nice played, nicely played there by them. So, you know, first map score was 12-12, which brought us into this overtime. Previous map, uh, previous overtime half was 2-1 in favor of Leisure. Nexus needs one more round to take this to another overtime. Leisure need one to take this victory. So obviously the pressure is really on now for the Nexus side. You know, if basically if Leisure lose this, they're not out. If Nexus lose this, they're sent back in for the rest of the night. And that's not only a chunk of the, you know, there's, for each qualification cup, there's 125 euros on the line. But that's to qualify for the big grand finale where there's a huge oh, Let's oh see how far they can go though. Very, very nice play here by Elizabeth Esports on this A bomb. So it looks like they have the control. The bomb is going to be dropped, as we can see, with Flix dropping Pornage also here on this A bomb. So we're now down to two players of this Nexus Quintic team. Pylon drops Broski. Now one player left for Nexus Quintic. And it looks like Leisure Esports is going to proceed in the Scope 4 Cup as Pylon drops him here. GG's are going out. And Leisure Esports is the winner of the first ha um, bracket here. Of this tournament tree. Very, very nice play there by Lisa Esports on this A bomb spot. What do you have to say about that, Peter?